So what exactly is a responsive background image? Well, for me, the image has to move based upon the overall size of the browser. And more importantly, when you get beyond, or should I say within a smaller size, the height shrinks to accommodate the space. Because to me, on a mobile phone, space is at a premium. So I wanna make sure this picture not only grows and shrinks, but also the height changes based upon a mobile size going back to a tablet desktop size. All right, so I'm using a bootstrap default template. Hello world right here. And my folder structure looks like this. I have my index file, my custom CSS, and I have a picture called background image. Let's start inside the HTML and then we'll CSS up this little guy to make it really sparkle and shine. In the HTML world, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out hello world for right now. So I'm just gonna comment him out, but I'm gonna bring him back down the road. I'm gonna first by saying div and then class, we're gonna make a new class called masthead. That's usually the word I use to identify the masthead or the main picture on my design. What I'm then gonna do is drop this down and you know what, I'm gonna drop the class down too while I'm at it. I'm gonna make sure I close this before I forget. So we'll drop this right here. And just for spacing, we'll put there. And inside this div, I'm gonna indent the word class. I'm gonna write an inline piece of code for this background image. Normally we'd put this in the CSS, but since every page is different, I'm gonna write some inline CSS right here. I'm gonna say style. And in here, I'm gonna say background image colon URL and open and close parentheses with a semicolon at the end. Inside of the background URL, I'm gonna use single quotes. I'm gonna hit the single quotes right here. And I'll say period slash, come on period, not the colon, not the comma. There we go, images, and then background image dot JPEG. Mine is gonna wrap around because I only have so much room to write the code. Once I have this div class masthead, inside of here is where I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a color overlay and a couple other things to boot. I'm gonna say div, just so I can open and close the div tags properly. And I'll say div class equals color overlay, which we're gonna write later on in our CSS. And then we're gonna bring some flex elements in. So we're gonna move the text to the middle and the center of the image. We're gonna say deflex, and then say justify content center, and then align items center. And I'll show you down the road how these pieces work. If we save this, let me just add a bit of text in here and just say the word test to this design. We do see the picture, but the word test sits right in the middle and down there we're gonna make this a lot bigger so the word test goes to the middle of this image. This is the power of flex and bootstrap coming to help us in this one instance. Everything else is totally optional and up to you. Again, I also added a custom CSS to the top of the HTML. In the custom CSS, now we can actually do all the magic. So if we head over to custom CSS right here, I'm gonna say masthead. And from the masthead, I'll say background size is gonna be cover. That way the picture can move and flow based upon the width of the browser. After that, we have to set a min height. Now I don't like setting fixed heights because if text ever goes above and beyond the size of it, it'll just run outside the box. So I'm gonna say for this design, 60 vertical height. What that's gonna do, whoop, pop, right there, is make the picture be 60% of the vertical height. If you want a full width, you could then say 100 vertical height, and the picture will fit all the way down the page. To me, I like 60 because there's just enough that shows the picture, but enough to show the text below going on. Now, if I were to resize this, if you look at it, the 60 takes up a lot of room when it comes to the mobile framework. So down the road, we're gonna make this grow a little bit smaller so it's not so tall, because on a mobile site, to me, space is at a premium. Let's bring this guy back right there. Perfect. After the 60 vertical height, I'm gonna say position, 
and relative. We're gonna bring in a color overlay that's gonna be absolute the same size as the previous parent, which is the masthead. And I'm gonna change the color of the type to white. And what I will also do is add a text shadow. So I will say text shadow, two pixels, two pixels, two pixels, RGBA, and zero comma, zero comma, zero comma, point two. Just a light bit of text right there. Now we start seeing this start to take shape. The word test is gonna show up, but we have to give it 100% height for the word test to sit in the middle, because right now it doesn't know to go down the page. That's where the relative and absolute come to shine in this instance. What I'm gonna do next is, I'm gonna make the H1 a little bit bigger, and I just realized I didn't bring back the H1, so I'm gonna uncomment hello world, and what I'll do is cut him and bring him right back here to hello world, and now is hello world. I wanna make that a little bit bigger just for a more striking text effect. I'll say font size, I'm gonna say four rem. Now it's much larger and bold. After the H1, what I am gonna do next is add that color overlay. So I'll say color overlay and position we're gonna use is gonna be absolute. Now it's gonna absolute relative to the picture, so we're gonna say width and height to be 100%. I will say width 100%, and I'm gonna say height 100%. And I'm also gonna add a background color to this design as well. So I'll say background color, and here I'm gonna give it a 20% black overlay. So I'll say RGBA, zero comma zero comma zero point two for whoa not that <laughs> there we go point two for this design and it just gives it a bit of a darker tone to make the contrast appear stronger on hello world this looks much stronger as you can see right here the height at a hundred percent had to be there for the type to move down to the middle of this box Otherwise, all the writing of deflex, justify content center, and align item center wouldn't work the right way unless we had 100% on the width and height. Now we're looking good. However, what I want to do next is, I want this box to grow and shrink. And to me, the type's a little big when we get to the mobile sites. We'll do a little tweaking as well. After the color overlay, we're gonna add a media query. So we'll say at media, I'm gonna say max width. I'm gonna use the 768 because working with Bootstrap, they really identify 768 is your maximum width for a tablet. So we'll say anything under 768 pixels do something. What are we gonna do? Well, we're first gonna change the masthead. We're gonna change the vertical height saying min height, just in case the type goes above and beyond we'll say 30, I'm gonna drop it down. And it's kind of hard to see here, so what we'll do is we'll drop it. There we go, now it's looking a lot stronger. So that min height changed if we just hide it for one second, by default it's 60, and if we were to picture a mobile environment, I'll get this out of the way. If we have the mobile environment, that 60 is really, really, really tall, so to me, I like dropping down to about 30, so there's an overall rectangular design on a mobile framework. Also, that H1 is pretty big for a mobile design, so I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna drop the H1, and I'm gonna say font size, just a little trickery here. I'm gonna use the viewing width to use a calculation to examine how big to make it. I'm gonna say calc, one of the coolest tools in CSS, I'm gonna say 1.525 rem plus 3.3 viewing width. What that'll do is, is just drop the size a little bit and as the type grows and shrinks based upon the mobile environment. And again, it'll go right back to the big size once we hit the tablet.